So today we have an Opel Corsa F um, with all key lost. So pressing one turn ignition on. So we just check here through the software that we won't be able to read the pin code. So if you go to key learning, learn keys, yeah, learn keys. So now we press start, ignition is already off. We don't have the pin, so we click no. We cannot do it, so we click OK. Now it's going to read the configuration and okay, press next. And um, we are going to be asked to load um, the dump from the BSI. So we will need to take the BSI and read it on bench, or either we would need to. Um, remove the ACU and read it on bench to get the pin code. So just here, saving backup. So uh, we would just click close, stop. Just remove it, not to make this video um, long or nothing. I just removed all the connectors that were on the BSI and then you just need to flip it that way, hold it like this, and it will fall off. So it's just like that. And now we proceed with the ECU. Okay then, so we are back here with our BSI, and we need to open. So there's here and all over. So let's open it. So after making too many holes, this is the only one you need to do. And then you have to put the clip down in order to get the BSI out. I already put here, this is the, the space, the area where you have to solder this one. So now we'll go ahead and solder everything. So we start like this. Okay. And now we need to connect it here. And it should be this one. So at this point, connection is done. Open the software. We go ahead in Echo Programming. I'm starting. Yeah, Echo. I meant Abiprog, old version. And now we have to read 95. One, two, eight. Read it. And then we just need to save it, disorder, and go back to the car, reinstall everything. But this is another step of the video. Okay, so we're back with this Opel Corsa with this boring sound, but it's a, an aftermarket arm installing the car. We have put back everything, BSI in the engine control unit. So we just go ahead here to Opel, Corsa F. Okay, we get the vehicle here, click continue. Now 
Now, of course, if we try to not turn the ignition on, we want to see the key. So we just click stop here. Key learning. Now, learn. Push and hold start. So we have to go through the some operation as we did before. We don't have the pin, so we click no, just click OK. So we click next. And now it won't read the, uh, read the configuration, I think. Let's see. Now saving backup and we should okay so we read the BSI so we click dump and now let me retrieve it okay so we loaded the dump successfully and we got the pin. Now we click next. We want to program two keys. So first one, we're gonna put it here and click next. We'll try to, okay, it's added. And now we have this. So we got the warning lights on Remote is not working. Keyless neither. Let's see if. No. Not even this way. So let's wait. So while waiting for the car's arm to turn off. We will use the HU83 Lishi tool in order to pick and decode the mechanical key for the emergency. So let's see if we can get the job done quickly or not. So I can feel that it's about to turn, but still hasn't so this is springy as well here as well and again so we miss something here let's try nope so there's probably a mistake done along the way. So again, this is, yeah, the first one to pick and then probably this one. Super springy, so we just push here, again here. Okay, so now let's put it more firmly. Maybe I have to apply less tension. Okay. Okay, so now 
Let's do some more. Here yeah, should be okay. Here, good as well. Okay, set. So again, all four are set. Okay, now we go. So now to decode it. Let's see if I can make it a good shot. Um, done. Okay. So let's go with to number number one. Action number one, there's nothing, so we go in directly into number two, and that's gonna be a three. Number four, number three, mean it's gonna be a two. Number four, it's gonna be a two as well. Number five, four. Number six, two. Number seven, two. Probably two or one. And the last one is number three. So now let's cut it. Okay, so key cut. And it works. Now actually, alarm should be off. So let's so right now it's off the warning lights emergency light are off the remote is not working but if we put it here in the emergency slot it turns on the car so now we can add a car key that works properly Wait for the modules to be loaded. Okay, let's click stop. Go to key learning. So we have just one key. Now we press and hold start. So turn ignition off by pressing the start button. I don't remember the pin. Damn it, so click no. So now I'm going to turn the ignition on again. Click OK. So we click next. We got the pin. And we're just gonna select one. So turn ignition off. And put the key in the sensitive area so we click next we just wait add it successfully we want to adjust the keyless yes the key is already here so we click OK again okay 